Hi, I'm Silvio and this is part 3 of do-it-yourself hot wire styrofoam cutter. Now you should be much more relaxed. The initial path is traced and you are almost certain that the system will work once it is completed. You will simply need to add all the remaining pieces of the puzzle. But, because in life there is always a but, you will first need to build them, otherwise there would be no fun at all. Hi guys, so as I just told you, let's build the next pieces for this puzzle here. Here is where I left last time. Let me start by talking of the 90 degree support for the nichrome wire. I will place it there, right in the middle of the back side of the main platform of the main surface there. So I also remember you that the back side of the support there will be in line with the border there, so like that. But for doing that I will need to cut the space in the surface I will need to make a notch to adjust it so maybe a notch of 20 by 20 mils but the support here will not always be at 90 degrees standing there I will also need to uh, rotate it from each side obviously in order to make some angled cutting so if I make the notch 20 by 20 the uh, support won't be able to rotate so I will need to make it wider and deeper than 20 by 20 millimeters. So let's start with this. Sorry for the noise, let's just dismantle what I done uh, until now. Okay, I won't need the <coughs> the support guides nor the stopper there. Let's remove the guides and their support. Now, this is the back. Let me just measure it. It should be around 30 centimeters or 12 inches. Yes, almost there. <laughs> As I just told you many times in past, the dimension of uh, wood planks aren't always as declared. It should be uh, 30 centimeters by 60 centimeters or 12 inches by 24 inches, but it's never the case. Here we have uh, 29.5 centimeters. So uh, the half of it would be, if I'm correct, 14.75 centimeters. So let me just mark there 14 uh, and half and uh, 6 and 17, uh, 75 there. That's the middle right there. 14.75, 14.75, right there in the middle. Now from here let's uh, say we have the support that has a 20 mils by 20 mils so 22 centimeters by 2 centimeters so let me just double this measure there okay let me just do 20 mils from this side and 20 mils from this side okay right there do i need to make a square notch no i will make a rectangular notch i will make a rectangular notch as i will not need to rotate in this direction but just in this direction so i will need to make to mark it let's say uh, 0.5 centimeters more than the depth 
and then the depth of the, mm, the support there. So let's just say 25 mils. Let's just say 25 millimeters. Yes, 25 millimeters. There, 25 and 25. So there. This is not 25. This is not 25. This is 25, sorry. Right there. 25. And 25. There. You have the impression that I haven't done it correctly, but here we have 25 and here we have precisely 25. Now, I will need to cut the notch there. Uh, yeah. Sorry, right there. Uh, I won't use, I will not use the jigsaw. It is too small the hole, the notch that I need to cut for the uh, speed of the uh, jigsaw. I will use a, a woodwork saw there. This is a woodwork saw, so I will do it <laughs> with my hand going up and down here. Let me just uh, fix it there and let me just use some tape on it because as always I risk to make some uh, um, some splinter I risk to damage it now let me just use some tape there and also from the down there okay the tape is there. I will add some more tape. I am in plain middle of it. I have also the uh -huh, the screw there. So as I told you before many times, I will uh, need to adapt. Maybe I will need to place some more um, uh, screws, uh, one in the left and one in the right of the middle screw there because this one will most probably will be eliminated by, by the cutting. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
and it's finished sorry it took me some more time because i had the screw all in plain middle there so i had to file everything some more uh, but now it is uh, completed let me just uh, check it with you let me remove the uh, boot so there i will remove the tape here there okay I remove it remove it still some tape here right there yes i need to place two more screws there because you can see that i have uh, the wood that is uh, it, that tends to detach here so i will need to replace the um, the screw i had there by two more screw here and there so it's uh, still visible where i had the uh, screw previously here in plain middle here so uh, it isn't important to have a 90 degree um, notch there the, <coughs> the <coughs> only thing important is that uh, the to verify that uh, to verify that the um, that uh, the uh, support here can rotate easily both sides there it will be like that and it will rotate i think uh, uh, it will rotate otherwise i will need to refine uh, the notch a little bit more now let's just add two more screws The notch is done. What uh, we'll do now? Let's see. Okay. Now uh, I can join together uh, the main uh, surface, the main table, with the two <coughs> lateral guides there with some uh, screw. Yes, let's go, let's do that. good <coughs> this one is ready <coughs> now what will I need 
this one will be there and rotating I will need uh, no let's make a pause please I need to change the battery the camera battery because right now it is uh, flashing red so just give me a couple of minutes to re replace my uh, battery okay ready I also did some cleaning some quick very quick cleaning now uh, the notch is done the support the 90 degree support will be there but I need something I need some support for the support itself in order to get it there in contact with the border of the main surface and that it will that will also allow me to rotate it to rotate it from each side so i will need to do some 90 degrees support here some wood 90 degree supports uh, here and i just thought about a design that uh, will remind you uh, the old design I hope you can see it because it's printed red on white so uh, the main line is here then I will go with the rounded part here and then continue with a linear part so the dimension here was 30 centimeters or 12 inches plus 20 plus 20 equals 24 centimeters the a4 print paper is only 29 centimeters so i couldn't print all i've uh, designed it. Uh, all i've drawn um so 34 uh, mm, centimeters in width then uh, some rectangular parts then a circular a demicircular semicircular part here i will do this kind of uh, design then here yeah, i will have a hole to the support the to uh, to um, to fix the uh, 90 degree support to the back side and then i will also have to make a hole here a circular hole here in order to have the pivot point there and the support that will rotate here and there so I will need to design this on wood before cutting it now let me just remove the main base there there I will use this piece of wood there okay there uh, not the same uh, thickness just uh, 1.5 centimeters or 15 millimeters uh, why uh, simply because uh, I don't need a very thick piece of wood and it is uh, much more uh, workable if I have only 15 uh, millimeters of uh, thickness uh, you will understand when I will start to um, cut it how I should cut it so I can't go this way because here I have just 30 centimeters or 12 inches from side to side I will need to cut some wood here so I will start by marking 34 uh, centimeters now the 8 uh, the eighth there uh, I think this is the base so in plain middle uh, this is uh, 14 and a half I will go up to uh, 18 I will go up to 18 centimeters so let me just check there okay now here i have 5.5 what is 5.5 it is exactly the eight from the base ah, it 
is the height you will have here from top to bottom here 5.5 centimeters there okay 5.5 centimeters I also need the middle 34 17 there and 17 here okay I mark everything then I will erase what I don't want so here is the plain middle now this is uh, printed in uh, one to one scale so here from the bottom to the middle I will have seven centimeters now seven centimeters in plain middle there seven centimeters then from middle to middle four centimeters more so four centimeters more there now uh, what will I do I want to cut it with the jigsaw yes I will cut with the jigsaw this rectangular part there but then I will use this tool connected to the Dremel in order to it's some sort of uh, compass there okay once this is fixed where it needs to be fixed I can rotate it and I will uh, cut directly into the wood as I was using a compass so I will use this tool there um, very cheap very cheap tool to add to uh, your rotary tool sorry now I will also need to measure where I need to stop doing everything to stop doing the arcade hall there okay then the circular one uh, the point seven yes here from the center the top should be the radius it is 7.5 so 7.5 will be 7.5 will be this is the main center there 7.5 there okay everything is marked let me prepare the scene for the cutting <laughs>
So what happened? Uh, the blade I was using was too long. So in plain middle it uh, get off the path. Uh, I was cutting right there, get off the path and broke suddenly because I used a uh, 11.5 centimeters blade and it was too long. So I needed, uh, I had to switch side and redo the cutting. Luckily, this part will be removed as I will have the arc there. The up there will be removed there. There I will have the arc. So the upper, the upper part will be removed. I will be in the, this situation. I will cut here through there. Then I will do some adjustments here maybe uh, simply with my wood uh, work so there uh, okay now let's proceed to file a little bit but here we are okay now let's finish the cutting there okay let's finish the cutting Are you? 
Okay, let me check it. <coughs> Just one second. There. And this will be there. Okay, will be right there. All right. I will need some more filing, of course, but it will be there. Okay, let me move it in front of the camera. There. I hope you can see it. It will be there with the 90 degree support right there okay and this will rotate there so obviously i will need to to do a hole in into the two holes into the support there one here one in the middle there because i will need okay this will be done so these uh, I don't think it will be like that but let's imagine that at 5.5 here this line here we have the border there the border at 5.5 from here so I will go probably 1.5 centimeters under the surface okay under there so i will probably go there okay like that okay 1.5 centimeters under there then i will have the hole inside uh, the groove here i will have the two holes one here and one there then another one here in the uh, um, uh, to the side in order to have the wire uh, coming out from here but it is too early for that now maybe some more little filing here and there sanding and filing because I have some splinter okay okay good there here too now uh, what will I need to do let me just do a little pause I need to clean everything then tomorrow maybe I will add the I will add the uh, base support there in order to screw this into the base. I will have to design another support. So for now, let's uh, end this first part here. Let me do some uh, cleaning. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> After some cleaning and a few hours later, let's uh, continue where I left. So the wood back support there is uh, finished let's uh, connect it with the main structure and so i need another uh, wood base for the uh, rounded the circular uh, back support there so let's get to work uh, let's get to work i need this one then i will also need a piece of paper obviously so 34 centimeters so a little more than 12 inches okay 34 centimeters so I will need to have the support let's say I will give the support this uh, this form here okay uh, maybe like that okay then like that obviously and there 
so I was thinking uh, 115 millimeters <clears throat> obviously this is 340 millimeters then I will go with the width of the main uh, wood support for the guides that is 95 uh, millimeters 9.5 centimeters from each side right there then in plain middle there I will get down I think let's say that 65 millimeters then I will go 20 mils this side and 20 mils this side for a total of 40 mils then I will go up there and up there something like that I don't want to have a perfect a perfect rectangular form design so I need to cut it like that the uh, thickness of the wood I will use obviously I will have to add some electricals right there so the electricals will have a thickness adapt so this is 35 no 33 mils here we have 33 mils of uh, thickness it isn't enough I have to place here the AC adapter, the voltage regulator, etc. They are very thick. So, uh, if I use uh, simply <coughs> the same wood I've used for uh, the uh, rounded support there, I will not have enough depth. That would be 35 plus uh, 15, uh, 48 uh, millimeters. I don't think it would be enough maybe uh, yes maybe not so I need some uh, space in order to maneuver everything in order to have some liberty of making things so I will use this other wood this is uh, almost the same wood I've used for the main platform and it is uh, it has uh, a thickness of uh, 27 mils i think uh, let's count let's have yes 27 mils so i will use this wood here let's mark everything on the wood Okay guys, done. Uh, so I will use this in this way in order to have the support that I need for it. Okay, I will screw it down there, right there. Okay, right there. So I need to uh, clamp in the correct position this there before 
then I will need to file obviously as always now I need to clamp everything together maybe I'm going this way okay I'm going this way I will need to clamp it where I need it to be then I will screw it down I will screw them together check everything okay practically nothing to file there okay let's uh, check here and this will be placed like that right there okay I simply need to fix it uh, with the clamp and then I will screw it uh, down okay that's the middle and everything else now uh, let me do some other thing because let me just turn it this way okay so this will be there all right there 9.5 9.5 then this uh, um, notch here because I needed so much space to do to make the uh, electrical so uh, if I mm, if I went directly with a rectangular uh, section there with a rectangular design there I would have uh, condemned this part that is essential for adding all the electricals down there now I also needed to add two more pieces with a width of uh, 9.5 centimeters 95 mils there and there in order to have the same height all along i will not do all the length here it's useless to do all the length i just need two pieces at the start there and this will also be useful because i will have some space to use as handle when i have to move uh, the table around so let me just do two more pieces of 9.5 uh, centimeters of length uh, yes maybe this is too short let me check uh, okay I have 26 maybe 13 and 13 will be enough yes 13 and 13 will be enough here I have uh, almost 12 yes 13 and 13 will be enough so I will use this leftover from my previous cut yes 
I will mark 9.5 and I will cut it 9.5 centimeters. So let's finish with this. done and done i just need to file everything let's remove the blade from the jigsaw <coughs> i will need there no more it now uh oops i have the camera battery flashing so i will need to change uh, the battery be right back Okay, battery changed, sorry. Uh, now, I, oops, I simply need to file everything. Then I will finish my work. Let me check. Okay. I will use them. Uh, maybe the cutting. There. Okay. I will use them there. So let's do the finish assembling. finished oh not entirely this part is done let me just remove some space yeah now here i have the space as handle right there i have the space as handle and i have a total depth for adding uh, every sorry for adding all the uh, electricals there of six centimeter max it will be more than enough now let's check once again here okay perfect and this is the main support done everything is screwed well together let me just measure 15 from the point there i need to have to check something before going 
I knew I haven't dirty, but the important thing is to have yes there is the middle and if I'm going right there the important thing is to have the hole there that will be the main um, connecting point between the table and the 90 degree support for the nichrom in plain middle and here I have the hole in plain middle let's just check even there yes it is in plain middle you can see that if I'm going there it will be here and then there so the hole there is in plain middle I still need to file uh, something maybe I will need uh, some more screw there because you see that it tends to get away but in the middle in the middle too so let me check if I can have uh, some more screws and uh, no everything is done correctly okay is the system that works that way I didn't want to have any screw visible from the outside so this is the only way to do everything with all the screw hidden below the main surface no screws are visible from the outside so everything is stable everything is screwed together now I will end this part here I still need uh, to place the 90 degree support there let me take it yes I still need to place the 90 degree support there okay then have a hole here for the nichrome to get uh, down to get through the main surface there then the electrical will be done and s some more things but i think that with the next part i will end this video and of course next time i will i will i will probably need to use this chocolate mold yes i will use this chocolate mold because <laughs> i will need some uh, screwing accessory okay uh, so i will use this mold next time so guys for now i will end this uh, third part of the mini series there uh, still need to file something but this is not <laughs> not the worst work i've done not perfect i know but uh, it's not a bad uh, work at all so uh, see you for the outro thank you for being so patient with me thanks again bye did i have problems yes did the jigsaw blade broke yes did i made mistakes yes did every cut came out straight and every corner precisely at 90 degrees no did it stop at me no I was aware I would have to adapt. I'm not trying to solve an algorithm where precision must be absolute and margin of error must be 0.000000. I'm simply trying to build something useful with as few flows as possible with the best possible appearance and improve it over the previous version. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish, see you next time.